Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock by request where it's a review of the movie Hostel Part 2. And this one comes to us from fellow YouTuber Ryan Blanche. Well, it's sometime after the events of the first movie and Paxton is living in seclusion. And his girlfriend Stephanie is trying to be very supportive of his continuous nightmares that he's having. So, one day, when Stephanie goes to join Paxton for breakfast, it turns out that Paxton is not quite all there. That's all I'm going to say about it. So then we go to Italy to meet up with our main characters, Beth, Whitney, and Lorna, and they meet up with a model who they know from art class because they're art art students named uh, Axel, I think. And uh, it's been a while since I've seen this movie. I had to take notes again. And instead of going to some nice place where nothing bad was going to happen to them, Axel winds up talking them into going to pretty much the same place that Paxton and his buddies were at in the first movie. And, yeah, you can pretty much guess what happens, except it's far worse. The Bubblegum Gang is back in this movie, too, and... You know, honestly, I kind of wonder about them. I mean, what would happen if you gave them chocolate bars? Would they have to change their name, or...? Just wondering. Beth is pretty much the only one to uh, to uh, stick around in this one, and uh, she's she's uh, well, she's being messed with by her captor, I guess you can call him, who seems to have a who seems to have a serious problem with women. Well, Beth turns the tables on him, and well, she winds up taking him out. And the guys who are running this whole game are impressed and they make her a member of their little elite group. And what does Beth do? Go after the turncoat Axel and pretty much does away with her. And the bubblegum gang wind up well, not kicking butt, but probably chewing a lot more bubblegum. I can't remember anybody in this movie that you guys might know, but um, the big question is, why did this movie suck? I think part of the reason is basically because, as much as I really hate to say this, but they should have just skipped out on the whole Paxton thing. They should have just went right straight to the three main characters of the movie, uh, should have just left Paxton alone. Should have just said, "Okay, here's where here's where our movie's all about. We got to go to these three main characters." See, that would have saved some time. Because if you're gonna do an entire, you know, if, if you're gonna do a sequel to where you're gonna have, you know, some new characters, and it's like, look, you know, I mean, I mean. I mean, if you if had anything on a previous character from the first movie, you know, just have a news report come out saying, you know, so-and-so is now wherever, or, or you know, or, or something like that, you know? I mean, yeah, the guys in the first one were a bunch of jerks, and, you know, honestly, I didn't care who made it out of that one, but... <laughs> but in this one, these women seemed all right, you know? They seemed, they seemed okay. They seem kind of likable, but but there was just so much, uh, just so much stuff I hated about this movie, and and just <laughs> and and you know. And and just just everything that happened in this movie, and it's it, it's like they wanted to kind of turn everything up about another notch or two than they did in the first one. 
and that's something that always kind of bothers me about about a sequel to a horror movie. I mean, I'm not praising the first one at all. The only thing I can say is it had a pretty satisfying ending. That's the only thing I like about the first movie. This one, I felt like there was no satisfaction at all, even in the end, when, when Beth got her revenge on Axel. I felt like, pfft, who cares? So, yeah, this one was a real big letdown and not something I liked. But if you want to see me review part three, just let me know in the comments below. And please let me know what you thought of Hostel Part 2. Special thanks to Ryan Blanche for his request. Please go check out his channel and subscribe to him. And hey, if you like my videos, always feel free to subscribe. If you got a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, fantasy horror movie that made you do a face palm. I can't believe I said that. Send it my way, and I will get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching, and until next time, as always, stay strong and rock on.